Erica, work on the memorial is already underway, and right now it is out of public view. So here on the common, there are several panels that tell you all about the history behind this memorial. Now, while many statues and monuments are coming down and under scrutiny, historians say this memorial on the common should be celebrated. The bronze masterpiece honors the 54th Massachusetts Volunteer Infantry led by Colonel Robert Shaw. They were the first African-American regiment in the North during the Civil War. For the men of the 54th who were going off the war, they were also going off to freedom. They were literally going off to change the course of history as it related to them as African-American men. The memorial has called Boston home since 1897, but recently water damage was discovered in the base that holds the sculpture. Despite regular care over the decades since 1981, Water is able to seep into the monument from the uh, seams at the top and work its way down to the foundation. While many monuments to history are being taken down or vandalized, caretakers of the Shaw Memorial say this one should be celebrated. This is one that's lifting up an important story about men who were, once they were free with the Emancipation Proclamation, they signed up to join the 54th, knowing that they could be captured or enslaved or killed. Historians say the movement today against racial injustice reflects a similar quest for the 54th Regiment. Going off the war, the 54th, those who were supporting it in the legislature, those citizens who came out around Boston at that time, not unlike what's going on today. You know, there's a total involvement, a total commitment. Now, the whole piece will actually be moved off site for full restoration, and that'll take up to six months. Uh, the price tag for this uh, restoration is $3 million, and that's a mix of federal, city, and private funding. On the comments, Sarah Conji, WCVB News Center 5.